Jacob Bartley here, and today I'm here to talk about the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition, which released this past Tuesday. I've been really looking forward to watching this film. I know it's not much different than the theatrical release, but there was 30 minutes added, and supposedly it was supposed to make the movie a bit more clearer and a bit more better, and I'm glad to say that overall I believe it did do that. Now, I'm not for three-hour movies. Even though I like this Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition, I do not think movies should be three hours. However, I think things that were taken out of this movie for the theatrical release should have been kept in the movie while taking out some other things. Just a little bit of a warning, I am going to be talking spoilers on this review, so if you have not seen the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition yet, you might not want to watch this. Come back and watch it after you've seen the movie. If you don't care about spoilers, then go ahead. That being said, there's not really anything big to spoil. There's no drastic changes in the plot or the story thrown into this Ultimate Edition that drastically changes the overall movie. However, there are just little things that add to the story and make it flow better and make it make a lot more sense. And it makes me think, like, what were the executives thinking? Or even if Jack Schneider was forced to cut down his film, why did he take out these things that ultimately made the movie make sense? Or did he not have any say in it? I guess we'll never know. Studio interference, it tends to mess up a lot of movies. Fantastic for anyone. Well, let's jump right into it. First of all, I want to talk about Jenna Malone's character. Now, Jenna Malone, you know, the actress, she's from The Hunger Games. A lot of people speculated on who her character would be. A lot of people thought she she would be Robin, the, the female Robin from the Dark Knight story. And I kind of bought into that speculation when it was going on. But after watching the film, and this came out a few weeks ago, who her character is, but even more so after watching the film, you find out her character is really irrelevant. So getting her cut out of the film really didn't change anything at all. She's barely in it. She's in like two scenes and she doesn't really change anything that's going on in the movie. Now, I think that was important to talk about because everyone made such a big deal that her character was cut out of the movie and they thought it was a huge thing that drastically changed something in the film. But come to find out, she was kind of nobody. She was just some type of scientist that helped Lois Lane determine what the bullet was, the metal that she was investigating. Now something that was very important that was taken out and I thought really worked well in this Ultimate Edition is Clark Kent investigating the Batman and trying to figure out why he's going around terrorizing people and being brutal and kind of painting Batman as a villain type character in Clark Kent's eyes. And I think this was important because it kind of, it really set up the hatred or the dislike towards Batman and why Superman would have a hate on for Batman. There's a lot of things. He goes to Gotham and talks to people from Gotham and kind of gets a sense for the fear of Batman that people are afraid of him. They don't feel safe and the, you see in the movie, in the original film, that Batman is branding people with a bat symbol. Now they say that the people who get branded are being killed or being beat up in prison. And we don't understand why. We don't ever get an explanation for that in the regular edition. In this Ultimate Edition, they address that very clearly. So, in the prison, once they get into the prison, these criminals are being killed because they're branded, branded by the bat. It turns out that Lex Luthor was behind this thing the whole time. He was having inmates kill other inmates who were branded with the bat symbol to piss off Superman, to make, to make Superman look at Batman as a dangerous being that if he keeps branding these people more, even though they're criminals, more people are going to die when they don't need to die. And I thought that was a, a really interesting dynamic and I thought it should have been explained more and certain scenes should have been kept in the film to make this a lot more understandable. Now moving on, speaking of Lex Luthor's plan, it's way more clear in this Ultimate Edition. I talked to people after watching the original film and a lot of people were still not aware that Lex Luthor was behind the whole entire thing the whole time. This Ultimate Edition makes it way more clear that Lex Luthor was kind of pulling the strings and manipulating every little thing that was going on. He set up the whole plot and he ultimately wanted Batman and Superman to fight and that's 
way more clear in this film. Not only the bat branding stuff, but they mentioned certain things like how he set up the explosion at the courtroom and how the wheelchair had lead in it to guard Superman from seeing it. He wanted that explosion to happen to make Batman pissed at Superman, painting Superman as a villain in Batman's eyes. So he's kind of playing playing these characters, making them his puppets throughout the whole film to ultimately see them fight. However, this doesn't really lead to Superman fighting Batman. As we know in the regular film, Superman fights Batman because Lex Luthor has his mother. So ultimately, all the stuff building towards Superman's hate of Batman didn't really need to be there because he only fought him because Lex Luthor had his mother. So it, either way, it doesn't really make sense and it goes to show the flaws in the film. Even though I really like the film, I even like the original, I like this Ultimate Edition even more. And another thing that made a lot more sense is that Africa scene in the beginning of the film where Superman gets blamed for these people dying and that woman is protesting in the courtroom. And it comes, we come to find out that Lex Luthor was behind that as well. He put that woman up to that. She didn't even lose anyone. He had her lie and make Superman look really bad. And I think that made a lot more, a lot sense too. And it made sense as to why the public is in fear of Superman and why Batman would go after him. Other than all those story details, there's just a lot more badass things that happen in this movie. In that Africa scene, Superman flies into the nuke. I thought that looked so awesome. And when he drops into that hut to save Lois Lane, it kind of comes out of nowhere in the original film. But before that happens, he smashes into this nuke and it just looks way more cooler. And it's a more badass entry for the first time you see Superman in this movie. Also, at the end fight with Doomsday, he's smashing into the helicopters and blowing them up and just blowing helicopters up and killing these people. In the original edition, the helicopters are dodging him. And I don't think that would warrant the movie to be rated R. It just makes it a lot more cooler. It makes Doomsday look a lot more deadlier. So overall, I think this Ultimate Edition is better than the original film. However, I don't think it makes that much of a difference. This is not gonna change the public perception of Batman v Superman. It's not gonna change how people feel. It's not gonna change the critic reaction. It's not gonna change people being worried about the DC Universe going forward. So while it's fun for fans like me to watch it and geek out, it's ultimately not going to make a difference in my opinion. One more little thing that was changed in the movie, that scene where Batman goes and sees Lex in the prison, there's a, a little more dialogue added to that. And he says, they treat people with passion in, in insane asylums. I set you up to go to Arkham Asylum. I have some friends there. They're going to take care of you. Basically threatening him, telling him he's going to end up somewhere that's not going to make it easy for him to get by. This is really interesting because I believe Suicide Squad takes place after Batman v Superman. And if it does, there's a chance that Lex Luthor might be in Arkham Asylum. And I think that would be really cool just as a small cameo for the film. As you can tell, I actually really like this Batman v Superman Ultimate Edition. I am looking forward to buying it and watching it again and again and again. And I'm probably going to watch this version every time I watch it. So thank you WB for releasing this version and letting us fans geek out and see it. Well, thank you all for listening. Let me know if you like the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Edition. And let me know if I missed anything that you noticed that changed the movie or added scenes or cut scenes or anything that was changed. If I missed it, let me know in the comments section. Again, I'm Jacob Bartley for Comic Hero Talk. Thank you all for listening to my review of the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice Ultimate Rated R Edition. You can find me on Twitter at Jacob Bartley underscore on my movie YouTube channel, Apocalypse Movies. That's Apocalypse with the next. And on this YouTube channel, please subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Until next time, you all take care.